Oh, fine. Well, don't make me play with things if you didn't want <laughs> anything to do with it. <laughs> Your case. Skeletons. Here come the skeletons. They came because oh, somebody rang oh, the bell. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, Michael Ketton's bit of just is it, share. There's a bunch of reviews for the game as we I begin. thought this was for the movie. Oh. Oh yeah, that would make more sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. I was like thinking I was like <laughs> looking at I just happened to see like a picture of the movie cover earlier. Ah. And it reminded me of that Simpsons character. Uh Booberella? Yeah. Yes. Because she has a thing and tapped out where she actually gets tied to a stake and burned, and that's what the cover of the movie looked like. Oh, right. Okay, now it makes a bit more sense. <laughs> so, welcome to Elvira. Um, this game brought to you by Octotiggy, and also the requests <laughs> of Christopher. Over and over again, he has asked us for Elvira, <laughs> so here it is. Yes. Can I... You can go for your life, in as much as you will probably die pretty quick. Um, the red... Whoa, why did that change? That's weird. The red arrows show you where you can go. Oh. <gasps> No, you could only go forward. I don't know why that's showing left now. It turned left. Doesn't make, uh, yeah. You didn't know. You actually walked forwards, believe it or not. Oh. There you go. Now it makes a bit more sense. Um, if you came here looking for Five Nights at Freddy type jump scares, then uh, you will be very disappointed. You should go and watch our Five Nights at Freddy's videos. If that's, not, that's not what this game is going to be. This is very much going to be a just a quiet, creepy game. Now we're going to walk around and play. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I know. walked into the office of the captain of the guard. Who are you? He snaps. Before you can reply, he continues. Do you think a slimy lizard like you can save her? Can you actually see me? <laughs> How do you know I'm not her? Guards, take this lowlife to the dungeon and search him. He can rot down there with the other rots. You won't ask long. One of him and his pets will make a meal out of you. Take him away. Hmm. The... And <laughs> game over. Yeah, creeper face, go away. Oh, this is you. Oh, me? Yeah, you're having a blowing your nose out on the floor. I look like I look like Constantine from behind. Constantine or your Keanu Reeves? No, not that Constantine. <laughs> yeah. ne that Constantine never existed. Ooh. You shut up. Uh, I know what you mean. Oh, hello. You mean like Matt Ryan or whatever. Yes. Well, this is her, believe it or not. I implore you to save me, and what happens? Bird the brain gets banged up, and uh, follow me, Pinhead. So this, uh, <laughs> I have such sights to show you. <laughs> yeah, follow me, Hellraiser Pinhead. <laughs> um, so Elvira is a weird thing because it was kind of slightly before my time. Was, she was like early eighties, right? Like mm -hmm. I would have been just. Hey, I'm Elvira. I'm gonna do anything to get out of here. Wow. Hello. Them titties. Them titties, but it's just, uh, yes. Tie your weenie in a granny knot. Ugh, that would be terrible. <laughs> I'm desperate. You must find and open a chest and use the contents to destroy Imelda. What, that chest? <laughs> <Door>. <laughs> I've made up some spells to help you, and you can borrow this little knife. So her whole thing, if you don't know what Elvira is, well, or she was... She, she like hosted this weird horror movie show where she would like it was kind of like Tales from the Crypt which you might also not know about but she like <laughs> <laughs> she basically was the host at the beginning of the show and then they'd play this horrible B movie um, and she was like a weird valley girl even though she was a goth and she got her <laughs> boobies out for some reason mm. yeah I knew more about Tales from the Crypt than, I, than this oh very much so same here but uh, I think she yeah she came slightly before my time and Although she's been around ever since as well. She keeps bringing the show back, so... <laughs> I'll be in the kitchen if you find the book. Some hope. Why do I always get the beef jerky? <laughs> nom nom nom. Insert disc four! God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she just explained what's going on. Um, mm -hmm. This is her castle, I think. And basically... Oh, no, no. oh. oh sorry, what? You're gonna die, that's what. <laughs> um, we're basically trying to... Her, her ancient ancestor... Oh, get ready to click on this guy. 
that when he comes up close. And when he throws a sword at you... Oh, wait, 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 click! There you go. You click just before he hits you. Click! No, just before. You can only do it once. Again. Again. Click. There you go, got him. Go again. Hey, you killed him. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, lucky that. Uh, if you want to turn to your left, we'll go this way. Okay. Yep. And then go forward. There you go. Yeah, you can kind of click, and or you can use the arrows. Um, take a right here. All right. Yes, and click on the hay. Hey. Hey. Two. <laughs> <laughs> so the two is like how much it it, it takes you to carry it, because you can only carry so much stuff, from what I remember. Now, because you've clicked on it, if you click up on room at the top left, it'll show you what's in this room. Hey, if you, hey. Hadn't, if you hadn't clicked on the hay, it wouldn't have shown you that room that was in this room. Uh, so if you click, if you grab the hay down here and drag it up to your inventory, where it says in at the top, ta da! Now you have some hay. No, hey. don't, don't go in that door. We don't want to go in the door. Uh, you want to turn around. Yep, turn around, and then we we'll go forward, and then take a left. So, um, oh man, I can't remember what I was talking about now. That's gone forever. Too bad. <clears throat> Were you talking about her show? Or were you talking about... Probably. I can't remember now. Anyway. Um, How about these flowers? They're quite they lovely. They are lovely little flowers. This is one of those games where you can pick up just about absolutely everything. But you don't... Oh, you wet don't... leaf. Yes, exactly. What it's a wet this? leaf game. That's what we call the wet leaf Jello? game. It's an orange jello. Um, mm. Before we go any further, you're going to want to do a couple of things. Uh, you want to click on your little knife down the bottom. And we want to actually equip it. So if you click over on use, that equips your knife. There you go, it's equipped now, believe it or not. If you were to click up on weapons over on the left, it would show you that the knife is in there. But okay, it doesn't uh -huh. matter. Um, you also can drink those two potions. Because what they are, if you click on it. One's milk and juice? Yes, that's exactly what she gave you, milk and juice. You can examine them if you want and tell you what they are. Drink this for fire dagger spells. Okay, nice to know. Yeah, you can just click. And then what's the other one? You have to click on the first juice. Drinking this gives you finger light spells. So you can drink them because it just gives you the. I just go ahead and drink them yeah. anyway? Yeah, it gives you the spells. Yep. Mm -hmm. There you go. See, it gives you the scroll. <gasps> now, if you click on the other one. I drink it and it was like a, a piece of paper at the bottom. <laughs> You're like, <"Well>, uh, <laughs> pull this big piece of paper out of your mouth. Um, so don't worry about eating the jello for now because that's a healing thing. And there's nothing in your bag in case you're wondering. You can click at the top of the stairs if you want. Oh, okay. Go Let's go. Woo! All right. Now there's like a huge amount of places we can go, but a lot of places are going to get you killed. So I had to play this um, just a little bit earlier to make sure I could remember anything. Because I don't think I've ever finished this, but I had to figure out a little bit of it. Go on the store on the left. We'll go in there. Left? We'll start in there. Yeah. If you click on the door, it'll open. Looks like salt. It does. Looks like it's a sal salty door. There you go. And then click inside. There you go. Woo! What's in here? All books. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. It's the library. This? Oh, creepy eyes book. <laughs> and it's got a tail. Oh, no, that's called a bookmark? Yeah, it's got a tail. <laughs> okay, that's a book's tail now. Or it's tongue. Nah. <laughs> so you can click around and see what things do, but everything in here is just going to say, this is a book, this is a book, this is a book. A wealth of knowledge, but you don't have the time for reading books. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so, uh, yep. Spell book. Yep, you can pick that up if you want. Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, so if you click on room, you get it there, or you can drag it from off the screen as well. You could have done... Yeah. So once you've looked at something, Morning. if it's something you can do anything with, it'll come up in that room section. Yeah, but otherwise it won't be there to start with. There's nothing else in this room. Oh, is that it? You can just walk back out. Cool five. <clears throat> Go in that door. Um, Go in the door? Yes, yeah, on the other side of the corridor. Oh. Yep. Oh, wood. So you can start clicking around on everything in here. They don't have very interesting descriptions. A steak. A steak. Yum. It's medium rare. <laughs> if you keep clicking around, you'll see all kinds of stuff. There's a lady's boobies. You watch a picture. A picture. <laughs> That's really like, thanks for the explanation. A stormy oh, storm seascape. A plate. A plate. See, this is very... Oh, uh, yeah, so this is a wet leaf game. And by a wet leaf game, what we mean is... Uh, <laughs> basically, there was once... I, I once came up with this idea. I said, you should be able to have a point and click game where you can pick up every single thing in the game, oh. whether it makes sense or not, including, like, just random shit on the ground like wet leaves. <laughs> and you just were like, I'm taking this wet leaf. And people will be like, why do you have that wet leaf in your pocket? That makes no sense. You're like, I'm picking up everything. <laughs> so this is a, another wet leaf game. Chandelier. You can't take the chandelier, believe it or not. A cleaner's nightmare. Um, so... Ah, oh, a diary. Let's so now that you've clicked on absolutely everything, that's what you have. If you click on room, it'll show you what's sitting around. 
Um, hey, it's Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. It's a ah, Sammy wet leaf. Jr. There you go, wet leaf. So we're actually going to take the wet leaf. Oh, sweet. Awesome. That's the Monstera. Um, and the steak as well. When you get well, that, yeah, I need, need it for vampires. Exactly. And uh, oh, it got a little. Yeah, it disappeared. Some things actually disappear when the <laughs> things are visible on screen. You can have a look at the diary if you want. You can examine it. Uh, yeah. A small personal diary with the initial E on the front. E for That's Elvira. right. I was explaining the story. So this is um, Elvira's castle, I think. And her wicked, evil ancestor, Imelda, has like haunted the place or whatever and taken over all the guards and things. And so we're trying to mm. banish Imelda to save Elvira, who's like supposedly like captured or something. I don't get it. She's mm. kind of just walking around anyway. Whatever. Um, yes, we... <laughs> You're just reading about the everything. It's made in Hong Kong. Weird. <laughs> okay, so you can take not the pillow. We're not going to need the pillow, believe it or not. It's a smell of a cushion. But you do need the diary. We'll take the diary. It is a smell of velvet cushion. Sorry, I did not get it right. <laughs> no, you can get out of this room. Now. Uh, you don't need it? No, you don't Nothing need it. You can look at them if you want. Nothing I else? think if you double what click on things, it will examine them. I don't oh, think really? you have to click up on it. Yeah, if, so try double clicking on the picture. Yeah, so it was, that's the easier way of doing it. Ta -ta. Ta -ta. That's not her. It's like her. It's, it's her shoulder or something, no, isn't it? Ta -ta. Okay, sorry. It's ta -ta. A what about on the guy picture? Is that Tatas as well? Oh, a large, comfortable-looking sofa. No, it was actually. I read him while you were talking, and that's a pic. That's a fake Mona Lisa, and oh. it's a picture of Elvira when she was a kid. Really? Apparently. Let's click it again. It doesn't say that. Oh, now. okay. That's funny though. I was just like, what? Okay. Okay. Uh, you can go backwards. It looks like a guy with a mustache. <laughs> Weird. Uh, we're going to take a left, because we came from left. the right. Yep. Yep. So we go this way. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, that's where we came from. You can click on it if you want. It bears an inscription in a tongue you do not understand. Or maybe they shouldn't write it on tongues. Um... And these? This is nothing. <laughs> oh, crack. Yeah, crack. Give the crack. No, that's back where we came from. Okay, oh. that's going back out, so turn around. Now, the combat. Um... Your cursor is a sword when you can attack, and then it's a shield when you can defend. Uh, with the defending, you want to just... It's kind of like countering in the Batman games. Yes. You click at a very specific moment, but it do won't work every time, but you kind of click just as it's about to hit you. Okay. It's, it's that kind of thing. Let's go in this way. Salty door. I'm just trying to remember, like, exactly... Because basically at the beginning, we're going to be running around just picking up everything, and then go... Oh, jukebox! Yay! And then we're, then we're going to go out in the world and actually use all the stuff. Beer pumps and have not yet been connected. Absinthe! Woo! I'm gonna get our drink on. I'm gonna get our drink on. <laughs> All Absinthe right. fucks you up. Actually, maybe the number isn't the, uh, like, the, um, how heavy it is. Music oh, hello. Montage. Music montage 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 19. Should I not touch anything? I don't know what that does for now. The R makes you just come out of that screen. Oh, okay. Like, it's just return or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you can get the absinthe, though. We can take that. I'll have some absinthe. There you go. Nom nom nom. Um, and now we can turn around and get out of here. Okay. Whee! There you go. And we're going to go down those stairs so you can hit the down. Down down. There you go. I'm going down, baby. I don't, I don't know how they're going down from here. You think they'd have to actually walk around and go down, but whatever. Oh, uh, hey! Hi! Something's in the kitchen with Elvira. <laughs> <laughs> so this, she did say she was going to be in the kitchen, so here she is. Um, yeah, you can click around. Oh, don't worry about mixing just yet. I just wanted to look at her. That's right. Her tetas. Spices. I just wanted to look at her tetas. A jug. Two jugs. Dinner plate. Saucepan. You can look at everything. Huh? Yeah, you can. You really can. A spoon. A spoon. And you can take all these things. Glove. But you don't want to. <laughs> An old fashioned porcelain sink. I'll take the sink. The thing is funny is because they've put in so many things you can click on, none of them have interesting descriptions. It's just like a spoon. Leg. <laughs> yeah, you can't examine her for some reason. Uh, you want to take a... Peppermill! There you huh? go. You what? want to take a right when, you, All right. when you're done clicking and everything. All yes. right. Oh, right. Oh, meat sir. Yay, we're in the pantry. And get the meat sir. Mm, yum, yum, yum. A joint, a joint of meat, of meat. Kins. And Kins. And jars honey. of honey. Jars of honey, jars of cookies. Cookies. No. Oh, eggs. Bread oh, rolls. bread rolls. Okay. Mm. Flour. I know you love flour. Bags of flour? It's your favorite. I love eating whole bags of flour. <laughs> Lower my weight. Somehow. 
It is a silly <laughs> reference that no one will understand. Okay. We're talking Skyrim here. <laughs> and you're just walking around with a whole bunch of food in your inventory, and you're like, man, I need to lose some weight. Oh, I better eat all this food. I'm just going to down these bags of flour. Oh, yum, yum, that was yum, gross. Yum. I'm just imagining that poor Argonian just... Oh. Opening up bags of flour and dumping just, it into his mouth. And somehow makes him less heavy, not more heavy. <laughs> In the middle of a fucking drogger cavern. You what? can take all those bottles. I can take the... Take the wines. Take the wine? Yeah. Both of them? Yeah. Okay. Just drag them up. Okay. Take that one as well. And you want to take the honey as well, which is the one on the right with the dribbly... Oh, the dribbles. The dribbly oranges. <laughs> with the dribbles. How about the chocolate? No, we don't need the chocolate. Oh. At least we don't need it at the moment. <clears throat> Uh, I don't know if you can use all these things for health or not. Maybe. Mm. So we might have to come back and get our health back up later. So you can walk out of here now. Let me leave. Alright, so we want to look back at Elvira when it gives you a chance. Oh, So what's she's this? to the right, I think. Oh. Now you're gonna get to watch a little sequence. Oh. It's alright. I did exactly the same thing when I was playing it. Out of the way, Camel Breath. Let <laughs> me do that. Heaving chest. Them titties, though. It's like it's connected to her lip. Look, it's like <laughs> as she was talking, it was going up, down, up, down, up, down. What's she doing? Like, eh, 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 She's eh, playing with the eh, dumb waiter. Eh, 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 pretty much. <laughs> it's like there you go. There's a secret passage. Don't go in there, though. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you just turn Thank away. Thank you. It's kind of funny. You just turn to the right. Yeah. She's like, oh, fine then. I guess you don't care. <laughs> she just wanted to see this cutscene. <laughs> oh, fine. Well, don't make me play with things if you didn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> Your case. <laughs> All right, you can take that oven mitt. We're gonna. Oh yay! I got an oven mitt. We're gonna need that later. The oven glue. Uh, yeah, sorry, am just... I holding it? Yeah, just go for okay, it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there you go. You turned to a little red. Yay! Hand. Now oven glue. we need to get some coal out of the fire as well. So if you click on the fire, and then just try and drag it into your inventory. Yep, go for it. Ouch, that was hot. <laughs> Sticking your hand in the oven. <laughs> Fuck me, why did I do that? You probably could, you know what, you could probably drag it to the bottom if you're looking at your inventory as well. Yeah, I was kind of wondering if I could. You probably can. Um, so, there is a way to get it out of here. What, this? Not with the oven, mitts. you don't even need to do that, it's not even that silly. If you go scroll down to get to your bag, and then you drag your bag out into the room. And burn it? <laughs> no, just drag your bag out into the room. I don't know why this makes sense, but there you go. Now if you go to room, it's actually sitting in the room. Along with all the other things you've looked at, including oh. the coal, which is the next oh. thing along. And you can just drag that straight in the bag. Now, I don't know how he does that without picking it up. You just scoop it up with the bag, I guess. I burnt the fucking bag. You just put the bag into the oven and now then try to get the coal to fall burn, into it. Now the bag is burned up and now everything <laughs> fell out. You just put it back over your shoulder while it's on fire. <laughs> like, hey, I didn't have to pick it up with my hands at least. <laughs> Strangeness. Oh, um, we should have a look at the diary. If you click on the diary and then go uh, look in. Look in. Look in. Uninteresting, except for a short reference to a missing ring. Mm. Ooh. All right, so you can click on Elvira so that she can mix things for you now. Oh, no. Yes, <laughs> and then go mix. She like looks over, like, oh, don't be stupid. I told you I need to the cookbook before I can mix spells. Oh, right, sorry. Of course, the book that we have in our inventory that she needs. Oh. Uh, it's the this? red one. Yeah, if you just drag it out into the room at all, you will see. There you go. Now she has a cookbook. Now oh. she knows how to make spells. So is now that can, what that is right Yeah. There? So now you can try it again. Spell book. Oh. Hmm. So you can click on her again. You can probably double click her and probably do the same thing. Nope. <laughs> well, lied. now I know who she is. I guess everything is examined. So these are all the things she can make for I'm you. honey, alphabet soup. Now the funny thing is... Brain ache. Apparently the spell book tells you all the things you can make but doesn't tell you how to make them. Because when this game came out, it actually came with the spell book. Oh. Which would tell you how to make things. It's kind of its little copy protection thing. So it's kind of weird that the spell book just goes, you know what you can make? Herbal honey. Sizzling eggies. That's all. <laughs> Sizzling eggies. <laughs> Clotted surprise. Ugh. Clotted surprise. And if you go to herbal honey, that's the one we want to make. Herbal honey. Herbal honey is good for you. Uh, you want to drag in the honey? You just basically drag it over to the left side. And oh, okay. It, it took me a while to figure this out because I was like, what are you meant to do? And then you put and then, the hay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. We're going to put hay in our honey. That's disgusting. It's a herb. No, it's not. <laughs> well, it's close enough. That's it. That's all you need. That's disgusting. <laughs> hey, honey. But it's so good for you. It's all right. Mix it, you goose. Hey, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we get to watch your cooking. Oh, that was cooking, the stupidest cooking. joke. It was extremely. Look at her go. Look at this. She's, she's really she's at mixing it. Mixing it up. 
she's going for it. <laughs> And then I put it in here. The funny thing about the actual spellbook that you got with the game is it actually explained to you exactly how to make them. Like it told you the exact recipe. I mean, it told you oh. the ingredients, but it told you how to mix them too. Hey, she did it. And we are going to go drink that honey in a minute. Next time. Yes. Oh, we'll actually go somewhere mm. outside and we'll fight some peoples and we'll do some things. Hey. Next time. Mm -hmm. I love Tiggy. Look forward to it.